So now I'm in After Effects, and the very first thing I'm going to do is save as 3Z Skate Park. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. And now um, I'm going to run a script. And this script is actually available for download from uh, some guys called Popcorn Island. And uh, they do really good work, and they have a really awesome script called Final Cut to After Effects. And you can just download it. Uh, it's free, and it is pretty much awesome. So um, I'm going to use their script and go to Scripts and say Final Cut Pro to AE. You can't quite see it, but believe me, it's there. And we'll find the XML file, which is Skate Park Stereo, and we'll hit Open. It'll ask if I want to import audio tracks. I'll go ahead and say No. And it makes a little bin right here with the same name. And so when you open it up, you have imported footage, which links all to your, your original footage, as well as um, your sequence for Edit Skate Park Left and your sequence for Right, as well as your stereo sequence. And the reason it does this is because the, uh, these two sequences are nested in our stereo sequence. Basically, we can treat these like footage because they're perfectly aligned. They're 1 minute, 27 frames each. And we just treat them like footage. Just drop them on the right, drop it on the left. And so we can bring it up in our Edit 3D Comp. And everything should be synced up. And it sure looks like it is. So that's great. But here's the problem. We have multiple clips, and we don't want to go through and look for the next shot, especially in After Effects. That would be a pain. So I'm going to use another script, and it's a script uh, by a guy named Paul, I think it's Tersley. I apologize if I'm not saying that right. Um, but it is a script called PT Layer Markers. And PT Layer Markers uh, does some really cool stuff with, with markers, obviously, in After Effects. So we're going to use this to add markers at every cut in the sequence, so we don't have to go through and find the cuts. And so what I'm going to do is just double click on my edit skate park right sequence which brings up all of my clips here I'm gonna to go to file scripts and I'm gonna get PT layer markers and it brings up this nifty little box and it gives you a few options there's add markers at cuts or split layers at markers and we're gonna add markers at cuts so then we're going to select in and out points because we want a marker both at the beginning and the end of a clip. And we're going to say add to new solid layer, that's fine, hit apply. And it makes this nifty solid with all these little markers on it. So what's cool is I can grab this and I'll just, uh, I'll just cut it from this sequence and I'm just going to put it in my edit 3D sequence. And this is great because I don't have to uh, go through and find all the little cuts here by just looking for different frames. It already found them for me. What I can do is I can go to my geometry control and I can start editing for my convergence and my disparities. And so for each clip I can adjust my convergence and maybe I'll converge on uh, these steps here. just like that. So I can adjust this for convergence and I can go through and preview the 3D effect using my anaglyph glasses. And that's not too bad. So after I get my alignment how I want it, I go ahead and just keyframe where it is. So I'm just going to hit K to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to hit U on my geometry control and I'm just gonna set my keyframes and go to the next frame. This is a brand new clip and uh, so I'll set it to however I want um, and this looks like it'll probably be okay. I'm actually gonna bring this up a little bit here and I'm gonna hit K to go to the next marker and so that's the end of this clip. Hit my keyframes, go to the next clip, and 
and do my adjustments, that, but that looks good. End of the clip, keyframe, next clip, keyframe, end of the clip. And those all look good because they're shot with just about the same setup. Now this is a kind of a different location and uh, this guy is starting here and then he's going to ride his bike that way. And so what I'm going to do is actually converge a little bit closer on him um, because I don't want him to stick out of the screen like an insane person. So I'm just going to make him look a little better. I'm going to double check in my, uh, my preview here. And that doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to adjust my convergence there because this is uh, this is animating and maybe I'll push my convergence away just so we can focus on him just a little better. And so now that should animate through that clip and, uh, and look pretty good. And I can also add keyframes in the middle of the clip. Um, but this is to uh, make sure you have a different setup for each shot. So I can go to the next marker, next clip, and so on. And at the end, you'll be rendering a side-by-side -side of your whole sequence which will be updated with all of your keyframes and all of your convergence adjustments and everything you need to make your 3D look awesome. All without rendering, all without waiting, all you render is the side-by-side. -side. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and post a comment. And I'd love to see all of your videos as well that you've edited with this workflow. Anyway, thanks for looking at the tutorial. And make sure to check out the rest of our tutorials on 3Z Stereo.